Okay, this is cabin 11204 on deck 11, and it is an interior cabin. And let's just sort of spin here for a second. So first you see you need a card to actually control the lights, and then you have two light switches and a thermostat that's pretty basic. Okay, so interior cabin and really good closet space. So we have these slide outs, you have your safe, which, you know, goes, ooh, that's a good size safe. Wow, that goes a ways back. You could probably fit a tablet or a laptop in there if you were so inclined. These, I believe, will, yeah, these will drop down. Well, theoretically, they'll drop down. Okay, so those will drop down to make shelves, I guess, if you need them. But you can also use it as a full length closet. Does not seem to have a light up when you open it. So hopefully you guys can see, even though there's not a lot of light in here. Here is the second closet, and you can see it is another long one. This is what these look like when they're folded down, and this one has fixed shelves. No, nope, no, they're all, excuse me, they're all adjustable, so that's nice. If you have needs of longer or shorter lengths, these are very configurable. Okay, so let's look at the cabin itself then. Here we have a light that pulls out for reading. You can see it'll swivel and stuff like that. And you have, the only power is this USB-A. But there is one on each side. Now, if it's power you need though, that doesn't really help you. So if it's just charging your devices, then remember to bring a cable that'll fit USB-A. And there's actually one over here by the couch as well, but it doesn't have any kind of USB, which is kind of strange. I wonder why they wouldn't just standardize on the ones that do. So here we have your refrigerator and you can see the configuration and it gives you actually the temperature range, which is kind of nice. And then here we have, let's see, this, this is just a short little De uh, drawer. Here we have your hair dryer and some information on port security and such, which is not a bad thing to know about. I recommend taking a picture of the phone number for port security before you go on shore. Now, this is the desk. It's a nice big desk, you can see. It's got a nice mirror, which probably lights up from the look of it. And here we have the power situation. You have two USB-A you have three US power and then two more USB-A. So that's nice. And then let's see, this is the, the light up for the mirror. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so that is, then we have the couch here, which clearly turns out into a bed since you have that strap there to pull it with. I'm sure you, you're supposed to get your cabin steward to help you though. And you've got lights behind the pillows on the headboard, just lights though, no power. You've got a nice big TV. And let's go and take a look at the restroom here. We've got three hooks, which are always handy. Now, the restroom is your basic restroom. It's got a fair amount of space here on the side of the sink for you to put your stuff. And then there's more storage below there. And a little cubby here and a little one here. Although, make sure you don't leave stuff there because it'd be real easy to forget stuff in there, I would think. And then you have the shaver adapter up there and the mirror and of course, towels. Now let's take a quick peek here at the shower. This is, let's see, how does this open? Okay, this is a good size shower. Look at that, it's nice. And all the things you would expect, you've got shower gel, you've got shampoo, it does not purport to be shampoo and conditioner. You have, let's see, here's the beginning of the clothesline, and over there is the end, and another hook, which is kind of handy. But yeah, this is a good size shower, especially for a cruise ship, and you don't have the shower curtain problem. Okay, well, this is it for cabin 1102, or 11204. Uh, inside cabin, near the I think we're at the after the ship.